Hello everybody, today I'm going to be talking about companion skills, doing a little bit of an in-depth deep dive in terms of how these upcoming buffs are going to affect them. This might go a little long, but I think you'll find this video to be pretty informative. So let's go ahead and hop right on into it. First off, a question that I get is, does you deal actually impact your companion skills? Uh, if it doesn't specifically say your companion skills, the answer is yes, it does. So, it so says 12877. When you come out here, you'll notice once you get outside of town, right, all of your bonuses get put in. Let's go here to our Paragon. Go over here to Guzzler says you deal 9.2 percent increased damage while healthy right okay so we have 21,000 at the low end take that off all of a sudden it goes down to 18,000 so you can see or well, I guess rounded 18,000 so you can see that yes this does things that say you deal do in fact affect your companions I don't know why they worded it so weird like that but yes anything that says you deal will actually impact your companions so that being said let's go ahead and hop on into the changes, so the buffs. Passive damage going up for wolves from 7.8 to 11%, it's a 3.2% increase, or a 40% increase if you're looking at it going from this to this. Active damage increased from 110 to 115%, this is like an 8% damage increase or something like that. Or, or actually, maybe it's like a 12%, hmm, that might actually be like a 12% or something like that damage increase. Okay, that's cool. Enhanced wolf pack damage bonus going up from 20 to 25%. Brutal Wolf Pack attack speed going up from 20 to 25%. Ferocious Wolf Pack fortify amount increased from 5 to 8%. So this is pretty good because it's multiplicative. So this, or uh, well, sorry, this is multiplicative. So this is pretty good. The attack speed buff is kind of whatever, but because they're buffing the passive damage, it is kind of nice to have the attack speed buff because then they'll be dealing more passive damage. So that's cool. When it comes to the active, the active going up is pretty nice because it's going to pack more damage into your barber, stuff like that. It's going to give you a little bit more burst damage, so that's pretty cool. But it's not anything too crazy. And keep in mind, this is all going to go through multipliers and stuff like that. Uh, when it comes to the passive damage, we do need to note that apparently, Call of the Wild and Aspect of the Stampede were not properly affecting the passive portions of companion skills and the active portion of wolves. So, if that is the case, uh, we should see a pretty big damage jump in our wolves in our passive and in our active damage. Now, that being said, we don't necessarily know because they were pretty vague about the issue. If that meant it was happening all the time, if it was only happening under certain circumstances, we don't know. So, once that goes live, we'll be able to actually, uh, we'll be able to actually see and test that. So, so with that being said, that could potentially be something that's like super huge, or doesn't really matter at all. But uh, Assuming that it's not super huge, uh, this is not a big enough buff to make wolves relevant, and the reason why is it's just a numbers thing, right? Or, well, sorry, when I say make wolves relevant, I mean, like, to make them, like, super good, like, top tier or something like that, right? Because if you're in, like, a Nightmare Dungeon 80, you need multiple millions of damage to kill something, right? So if all of my wolves hit, I'm going to get 126,000 damage. This isn't factoring in any of the enemy's resistances, by the way, so it's actually going to be lower than that. So that means I'd have to do 30 attacks from all my wolves in order to, uh, or I'd have to get 30 attacks across all my wolves. So if I have four out, you know, it'd be like six attacks each or whatever, or seven or eight attacks each. So that would take a, <laughs> that would take a little while, right? And then once you factor in resistances and stuff like that, you know, it's not gonna be anything to go home about, whereas the active plus the barber actually will do millions of damage. So, yeah. So when it comes to the passive buffs, unless that whole bug turns out to be godlike, this is kind of not really that great. Uh, this is nice. This is nice. This is okay. But uh, overall, this isn't really going to fix wolves. Uh, the biggest issue with wolves is two things. If they really want to fix wolves, Blizzard, if you do happen to watch this video and you want my opinion on how to fix wolves, I will tell you. So the first thing is you go to Aspect of the Alpha and you make two changes to it. You, one, make this a multiplicative bonus instead of a additive bonus. And two, two, you make it to where your werewolf companions are now tagged werewolf skills. Because then, not only will they have much more damage, they will be able to do things like proc 
toxic claws. They'll be able to do things like proc lupine ferocity. They'll be able to benefit from things like quick shift. You'll be able to take the wolves and actually put them inside of grizzly rage so they can get yet another damage bonus, right? So that would be something that would be super sweet for them to do for wolves. I think if they did that, uh, that would be pretty good. Now, if people are going to say, yeah, but they die at high tiers. Let me show you something else that's coming onto this patch. The following attacks now deal reduced damage to druid companions and necro minions. Fire enchanted, electrified obelisks, shock lance, fire breath. These are the things that would kill your wolves in nightmare dungeons. They actually don't die that much unless you're fighting these specific affixes. So now that these specific affixes are going to be doing much less damage to them, they shouldn't die to molten explosions, etc, etc. So that's a step in the right direction. Now, is it enough? They probably they might still need one more survivability buff, but that is still pretty huge in terms of their survivability in higher tier nightmare dungeons, right? So it's going to be more of a matter of making sure they deal enough damage as opposed to making sure they survive anymore. Okay. So, um, I would say, I guess that's really all I have to say about wolves in terms of these changes is really just if that bug turns out to be a big deal it's gonna make the or I guess in terms of the wolf changes it's gonna make you know wolves much much better as well as the active portion much much better so you should see some pretty sizable damage increases uh, to like your barber procs and stuff like that so uh, moving right along let's go ahead and go over ravens so passive damage increase from 13 to 20 percent increase the passive damage of ravens by 40 percent so this is pretty good but the question is, will it be enough? Because you have a base damage increase, and then you also have, if they don't make this multiplicative, they're trolling, right? But they might do that, so we'll see. I hope they make it multiplicative. So this is multiplicative. This is a pretty sizable buff when you also factor in that bug fix, because with the bug fix, plus adding another 40% multiplier, we might see ravens do some pretty intense damage. So let me show you something here. Let me show you something. Take that off, take that off. Now I'm going to blow your mind with ravens right now and how little damage their passive does and why I actually think for ravens specifically this bug fix might be massive so 23822 to 19491 so you would expect about 50 percent let's assume things have 50 percent damage reduction from armor resistances whatever right keep in mind I am out leveling this and I am uh, about five levels higher than what I'm about to go fight so you think I'd get like 10,000 right oh 1500 oh 1400 right Oh, 1100, 1200. Get them, Ravens. Get them. Well, it's just the active portion. So we can see the active with the Barber's doing all right. <laughs> but that's pitiful damage. because And look at how fast. Because the way that Ravens works, right, is you. do you see how it says four Ravens fly above you and periodically attack your enemies for X damage every five seconds? Well, actually... It's not every five seconds, right? Because you could see I had a raven coming down like pretty much all the time. When you increase the amount of ravens you have, you increase the amount that are in that cycle, right? So normally you would have one with, with the uh, aspect of the stampede. It goes up to two. And then you do the brutal ravens. That gives you four, right? So you now have like four of these things constantly cycling. So you actually pretty much have a raven coming down like every one or two seconds as opposed to actually like every five seconds or something like that, right? Because you could see whenever I walked up to them that those ravens were kind of like raining down hell. Were they doing damage? No. Were they tickling them? I mean, I didn't want them to be tickling them, but that's what my ravens do for some reason. They're little tickle monsters because of that bug. Okay. So... That being said, yeah, that's kind of my thoughts on ravens. So, uh, yeah, that being said, that's my thoughts on ravens. Uh, if that bug turns out to be big, this could be a pretty big passive buff. But overall, the biggest issue with ravens is it doesn't have a legendary that actually does anything. If Blizzard wanted my opinion on what they should do, they should take this right here, aspect of metamorphic stone, make a copy-paste legendary, for ravens, turn ravens into a core skill. It does 100% increased damage. Damage dealt or damage dealt increased by 100%. That'd be amazing. Like seriously, it'd be so good because like you think about people and they want specifically like an actual companion build. Do turning ravens into a core skill? Oh, that'd be so sweet. Like that'd be so sweet. 
right? So I, I would be totally down for that. Now, they'd say, oh, well, because now, because of the way Ravens works, right? So you have like the passive portion of it for Ravens. Like you could leave the passion and still, or the passive portion of it and still turn it into a core skill, but it would just kind of work. It would it'd almost be like, in terms of functionality, uh, like a companion lightning storm in a way, right? Because you would be like putting down like little spots of ravens everywhere, right? Like you'd have like these little raven tornado things going on everywhere, right? Now picture this, but you're just constantly putting them down for how much you have spirit. And then on top of that, you have like the four or five of them just coming down, raining hell as a passive every like four or five seconds. Like, God, that'd be so sweet, right? So I really, I even if it, man, even if they made it like a unique item or something, I don't know. <laughs> Actually, no, don't do that. Make it a legendary if you're going to do that. But that would be like, so sick right so that'd be my my thoughts on how to fix ravens okay so i've went over went over my thoughts on the buffs went over yeah okay so i mean really i don't think i have much more to say about it the tldr is are these enough to make them standalone build well, if that bug fix turns out to be huge, yes. If the bug fix does not turn out to be huge, probably not. Right now, they're still going to be carried by the barber. Ravens needs a legendary, and werewolves needs to one. They needs to have a multiplicative multiplier, you know, like Poison Creeper has three of. And then Ravens also needs a multiplicative multiplier on top of an actual legendary that does something for it besides Stampede. Stampede is a general companion legendary. It's not a specific one. We need a specific one, right? But, okay. So, if you're wondering how I would rate uh, companion builds currently, I guess this would be the last thing to say is B tier if you're running the barber, C tier if you're just doing like C or maybe even D tier if you're just running like only companions because you got because that bug could potentially really be holding the back. But anyways, that's going to do it for this video people. Like, subscribe if you want to see more and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.